Oh, hey divas and gents. <laughs> I was too busy focusing on my project. This is for Bling For Me, Bling For You. Um, this is my design team project. My first one for the month of July. So let me go ahead and show you. I used some of these really pretty daisy um, resin flatbacks. I used four of those. I used some of these super stinking cute bows. I used some of these enamel dots. I used the stamp right here. And I also used this one right here. And I used this paper line right here. I used literally half the stack to make this project. And I also used this die cut that makes these amazing, super cute umbrellas. Natty is old, um, sold out of these at the store right now, but she is ordering more. So for those of you that did not get to get in on that, um, don't worry. They are coming back in stock. So yay, those were super cute. And um, I also used another die, and I'll show you that um, on the project. This right here was 110% inspired by Scrappin' Stampers. Um, I saved her video, it's from a while ago. I will post it below. She shows a tutorial on how to make these um, pocket cards. So let me go ahead and show you, um, because you use your six by sixes to make these. You use two six by six to make this pocket card. Super cute. So see, you have one six by six here for the back, and then this is the other six by six. This right here are strips, so it's not the, it's not wrapped around. They're just strips. Okay. So here's an image I colored, and I used my um, glitter gel pens uh, because I have them, and I was like, let me color with those. I mean, yeah, you're, they're not going to show the fading in, fading out, but I love how bright they are. They already are glitter. Don't have to do nothing to her. I did use. Um, pro markers for her hair and all of her skin. I need to get more pro markers. Um, I only have the skin tones, so I need to get some colored ones. I actually do like working with those. Those are affordable. <laughs> and then these dots that are all the way around here are from those markers from Tuesday morning that Marilyn G gifted me. They, um, Oh, I don't have them, but they're, they're Tuesday morning is the only one that had them. So they have a very round tip and to, where it's a brush where you, they make exact circles when you push down on them. So um, I used the coordinating colors that I used on her, I used um, with the markers. And I thought that was really cool, just to randomly put different colors on her. I used her bow right here from Nat's store. I adhere that with glossy accents. Here is the other resin piece. I took out my punches to make the flowers. There's the enamel dots. And then this right here is the other one that matches this one. I use the little enamel dots in random spots. And then right here, you'll see, this is what I did. I took a large scallop punch. I folded it over. Then I took two of the smaller scallop ones and literally sandwiched them over each other. No, that's awesome. Nothing like some hot glue to put on camera because that's awesome. <laughs> oh, anyways, so that's what I did on the top parts of here to fit inside. These are so stinking easy to make and they're so fun and awesome way to use up your six by sixes that Nat sells at her store to make these super fun. And if you noticed, the back right here has gold stars. The front has these super cute um, glasses. But of course, this image doesn't have any of the colors that are on the paper. But you can always pull in other colors to blend in. You don't have to match exactly to the paper. I made sure to add these embellishments that would coordinate with my image and made sure to coordinate with my image on here also. So I pulled in colors that did not even, was not even in the paper. So don't ever feel that you can't do that because yes, you can. And it makes it just more fun, you know, just more entertaining, I guess, to look at when you just um, add something new. So think outside the box, play with your colors. <laughs> okay.
And then here is the other one. Here's where I did the stamp. I took out my two and three quarter inch punch. And uh, on here though, just as an FYI, when you're using acrylic stamps, those of you that are not seasoned crafters, um, you need to use a pigment type ink. You cannot use like a Tim Holtz um, type of ink. And um, there's other ones you wanna use like, I think it's Avery L. I used this. This is the Prima one, um, and um, make sure that there's, um, I think it's, boy, it's something elephant. That's a pigment ink also. So just a chalk ink, things like that you can use. Just make sure that it's pigment ink so that it's really crisp because the acrylic ones will not pick up on anything else. Okay, so, and then this right here is part of the paper line also. I just thought it was cool because the paper, it has letters all over it and they were in blue. So I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna use my little cloud punch and use those. I took some of my flat back pearls. Here's those super stinking cute umbrellas. And what I did is since right here it's perforated, I went ahead and cut the pink right here and the blue right here. And I stuck them up on foam dots so that you would get that look. I was watching Arlene's video, Butterfly Kisses, here on YouTube, and she did that with one of her um, La La Land umbrellas that she had, and I'm like, perfect. I have this umbrella die that you can do the same thing to. So see right here, they're perforated. So you could easily do the exact same thing. So that's what I did here, and then I put stickles. I busted out all my punches right here, this punch right here. These are like pretty much all Martha Stewart punches. I have a paper doily back here. It's a really super light pink and the camera looks white. And then of course right here, I did um, the same thing. I took the punch, or the punch, the stamp, and then I put some of the Prima one and I just stamped the umbrellas on the side. So you see it's right here. I thought that'd be cute, just a little something something on the actual um, card stock. Oops. Okay, we go. So same. These are super fun to make. Just fun, I loved it. Here's my last one. She's another one I colored with my gel pens. And I just put stickles in her hair, little dots of it. And then I use coordinating uh, markers for the dots around her. Here's the other little um, acrylic piece. And then here's the other die that I used from Nat store. I loved it. And then I used stickles on the butterflies and on the bow part of it. This bling right here was gifted to me by Nat. I have um, a pink doily right here. I used a Martha Stewart punch for it right here on both edges. This is just the scrap piece of paper from this side. So see how fun that is? I love it. Paper is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And this paper she sells with the enamel dots. And then see right here I did the same thing. I just switched it up. I have the pink here and the, the raspberry color here and then a light pink here and then a light pink um, flower. So this, these were a ton of fun to make. So thank you so much for the inspiration, Miss Scrap and Stampers. I love it. This was a ton of fun to do. So this is my project for Net Store. I had a blast putting this together. And I will have Nat store below her information. Don't forget, 15% off dies, 4th, 5th, 6th. And today's the 5th. Tomorrow's the 6th, last day of the sale. You better jump on it. After that, that's it. And um, I think that is it. Oh, quickly, I do have some of this right here. Um, this is a canvas ribbon. This was gifted to me by Janelle. Hey Janelle, she gifted for my birthday and um, I was just playing around, but you could stamp on these also. 
And I just used the pigment ink, the same thing. I used the Aradon, Aradondek, I, or that one. You guys know which one I'm talking about. So I used that and stamped on here. So, um, and it, I was just playing just to see what it would. You could easily, um, only because it was a long strip of umbrellas. And then what I'll do is I'll do it on the back side. So when you know when you do tie it and use it as a bow, you want to be able to see that there's something on the other side too. So I thought that was kind of fun. And I have a lot of it that she gifted to me. So thank you so much. And that's it. I will be back. Me and Matt are back to our monthly swaps for um, jewelry and embellishments. So now she's back in a row and we can get this ball rolling again. I'm excited about it. So that video will be coming up shortly. And I will see you guys later. Bye.